All right, today's Kittle question is, how do I request a new feature or how do I request more illustrations or elements in Kittle? And this is a fantastic question and it appears like a lot of people don't really know. So over here on the Kittle homepage, as you can scroll, of course, you can see all of the many amazing templates we have. But if you look down here towards the footer area, you'll see this one little word or phrase down here at the bottom says feature request. Now, if I click the feature request, what's that? what that's going to do is open up our request feedback area. And so basically what this will allow you to do is add your own feature request if you have one or search and upvote other feature requests, which is probably your easiest and fastest path to success because more than likely someone has uploaded a request that is similar to yours. So as you can see here, you can see some of the stuff that's already being worked on and some of the most trending posts. So right now this is showing trending posts. We have the eraser tool here that's in progress. We have someone that asked, change the color and size of individual letters inside the same text box. You can see here, there's this green area because I have upvoted these myself. For example, right here, if you want to save the prompts that you used for AI images and you've found that and you, you thought you also kind of align with that request, you can go over here and boom, I just clicked upvote like that and there we go. Now you can also tr uh, sort this by other things. So for example, if you wanna see the top requests, you can do that as well, which will show you all of the ones that have the highest amount of upvotes and you can also search by new. So ones that were brand new uh, and so you can see these have the lowest amount of upvotes just because they were recently added. Now you can also search. So for example, if we want to see all of the searches that are related to fonts, I can click uh, type in fonts, hit enter, and here we go. So if we want to add our brand colors and fonts, uh, which will allow you to easily kind of recall them faster, and you align with that, boom, let's upvote that. So um, we can also scroll down here and see other ones that we may uh, want to upvote. And again, this is probably your easiest and fast fastest path to success because the, uh, the request is already here. So let's see the ability to upload fonts. We were, we uh, completed that a while ago, uh, font and element favorites. I upvoted that one as well. Uh, new font styles. This person is asking for, uh, you know, more objects, illustrations, fonts, and things like that. So if you wanted to add your own request, you can do that as well. So you can click the plus button right here. And what that's going to do is allow you to give a short uh, description here. And you can also add an image. So if you have an explanation, a visual explanation of what it is that you're trying to uh, see, whether it's a feature that you saw in another tool, or if it is an illustration category, for example, let's say that um, maybe we don't have enough United States shapes of the actual state, right? So we could put in, uh, we could put in U.S. state shapes, or and uh, oh look, so right there, so it came up in suggested posts. So shapes of countries and U.S.A. states. So we could just upvote that. So that is another easy, super way, super easy way to see if your request is already there. So that was something that was off the top of my head. But it turns out we don't have to do it. Someone already posted that. I can just upvote it and boom, there you go. So if you wanted to continue with that and you had a different idea, of course, you could type it in, add some additional details, add your image, and then boom, you can create the post and it is there. So again, that works with asking for a feature or a tool within Kittle or just asking for more uh, font styles, illustration styles, assets, spot elements, things like that. Um, you can even add your AI requests if you have specific AI presets you want to see or different AI elements and features that you want to see. You can do this all from the feature request board. Again, that's that link is at the bottom of the Kittle homepage. You can instantly access that super, super easily. So let me know down in the comments if you have other questions about Kittle because we always want to tackle those and make the best and easiest videos for you to follow so that you can become a Kittle master. Thanks so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any in the future and we'll see you in the next one.